work session for Wednesday, June 5th, 2019. A review of work session discussion meeting minutes. I did review them and I didn't see anything that needed corrected or added. Add anything as well. All right. Department head report. Seeing them? Hearing them? Solicitor's report. I spoke with Corey yesterday about the IRS issue. A couple weeks ago, they submitted the 2016 documents. They're working to get the 2018 documents, hopefully submitted within the next week. Don't have a t final figure on what, if anything, is owed. Initially, whenever they spoke, he thought it was going to be something similar to that, about $254 that was paid in the 2016 one. So hopefully this time next week, those documents will be submitted, and I'll let you know what the final figure is about. Are you guys still, sorry, are you still working with the congressman's office? Yeah, at this point, we're waiting to get all the documents filed. Then at that point, we're going to move forward regarding the appeals process, trying to get the, the uh, it abated. What's the anticipated or probable date that the liens will be removed? Don't know that yet. We're looking at months or uh, weeks? Potentially dealing with the IRS, yeah, it could be months through the process. So aside from that issue, I have uh, some personnel and litigation matters to discuss in executive session. Um, have we heard anything from the Supreme Court? Is it still silent? Still silent, okay. When, that, when they send you, will they send you a notice or is that something you just have to continue to check on? No, we'll get a notice. Okay. We'll get a notification of a decision. Okay. By mail. Any other questions for? Solicitors? Board of Commissioners report. Uh, I wanted to bring up the, um, the COG is hosting their annual um, event for the Council of Governments. It's for the municipalities. Um, they have a weekend, or it's during the week, of uh, there's a, this year it's going to be a river cruise on the evening of July the 31st on the Gateway Clipper um, and that's going to be a legislative conference and, and that's when all of the municipalities talk to the elected officials and can present different projects and things and then the next day is the conference um, and they have learning sessions um, for all of the municipalities and that's Thursday August the 1st so I kind of wanted to put that out there for everybody um, do we have, it was Tim, I thought I saw Tim Ishman. He's in the back. Oh, there you are. Okay. Uh, do we have an update on the food festival? Um, we're t I asked Cindy about the insurances. Do we get the certificates of insurance for We're still collecting a few that are outstanding. Okay. They're coming in, it's not uncommon. Um, I reach out to them usually here uh, this month to say, you know, you need to make sure I get this. Um, I go through and check and see what I got. I got. They gave me one that's gonna expire before the event. I call okay. them and let them know. So I'm working on that side. And how many do we have? About 21. 21. Great. Has there been any, uh, just to piggyback off that, have you met with Dan Colville about adding more 110 uh, electrical boxes for uh, triplets of speakers down the other end? I have not talked okay. to Dan about that at all. Okay. I mean, the, where you have the stage where they put the new electrical service in, where we had it last year, and where the first electrical outlet is, is down by. Um, Oh, probably the first for the first set of booths coming when you come in. They're down that far. So it's probably a good third and a half mile between those points with a pretty significant grove of trees in between. Okay. So I not only is an electric an issue in regards to the distance there, but if it's going to be um, wireless, I'm worried about line of, line of sights in okay. regards to hitting the boxes. So we're exploring that. I've been talking with the sound guy about that, but I'll follow up with that Dan after this meeting. Okay. See where he's at. I know the electricians are kind of stretched right yeah. now, so just trying to figure out if they got the time. And last week, Mr. Woolley brought up um, uh, asking for an update on the hotel tax audit. And I read your meeting minutes from your um, meeting last week or so okay. that you gave the tourism board a kind of a debrief of what's going on. Would you let sure. him know? Um, the, the letter from the treasurer's office um, has been sent to uh, Michael, the CPA to be engaged. Um, I know Michael uh, got that. I got it on Friday the 31st, late in the afternoon. I sent it off to Michael on Monday the 3rd. So I haven't heard that from Michael yet. But basically, I went in to look it over. 
And the question is um, to make sure to confirm that he's going to have the treasurer's office send it out, get him have a copy, and then he follows up. I'm just making sure the mechanics are all in place at this point. So I would expect to start this month. Okay. Is that, is that kind of what you're looking for? I think so. Mr. Woolley, does that satisfy yes. your question? Great. Okay. Excellent. Great. And we had talked just last uh, week about um, a possible ban with boom. Mm -hmm. That conversation seems like it's going to spill over till next year yeah. because of the time frame. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to talk about that. And you you, you connect with the uh, people from boom. Oh, yeah. So. We have a good work relationship. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. What are the events coming up this weekend? Oh, you got uh, Cars and Crews, Garrison Days, and Car Crew and Car Crews over in Beaver Falls. Falls. Beaver here. Uh, that's a big weekend for us. Um, that's a big one we're working on right now. That's yeah. where I got most of my time tied up in. Uh, and all, you know, the weather and pool, but I mean, other than that, it's kind of what's been keeping me busy. How is the pool? Pools, when it's not 45 degrees <laughs> outside, it's pretty nice. Um, is but, it heated? No. But if it's not. But I said the temperature, the water temperature yesterday was 70 to 40 degrees. Um, so it's a little cool. It doesn't stop the kids, though. I hate to tell you that. They really? still go, oh, yeah, they're in there without a doubt. When it's nice enough to be out. But we start this Friday, two days from now. So we go to our full hours, noon to six. Okay. So we're still in that four to seven window because they're just graduations, I think, tomorrow night. We wrap that up and then we start with our regular um, hours going forward. So, um, the pool's in great shape. Public Works racks that whole crew up there. They did a great job of getting the pool ready very quick for us. So, you know, it's, it's, in, it's in great condition that way. Staffs, for the most part, what we have applications for are now 100% able to be working. Uh, we're still looking for lifeguards. I still need a clerk. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a challenge to find additional guards. There's one more lifeguard, of course, I believe at Wexford, the Barrel Y here, Father's Day weekend. And uh, we're trying to see if we can get anybody out of that. But uh, I think once that's done, it's probably the fall. So mm -hmm. um, figuring out staff vacations, when the kids go to school, all that kind of stuff, band camp, football camp, all that. I'm working on my August schedule right now to see where my gaps might lie. Uh, but that's, I think I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident through the end of July. August is going to be my, my career to take a look at it. Okay. But that's not a problem for other pools too. And a reminder to all the people that have events out in the county that you can advertise on the tourism website for free. So if you have something going on that you're putting on in your municipality, Let's let tourism free. know that, you know, and what are you, you're up to like 32,000 likes or people who, 32, 32? yeah, so yeah. it can get exposure. The following on it, we're seeing, um, actions on there in the 20,000 range and an action is when someone not only just clicks on it but they actually post something or share it or push something along the way so to have that kind of virality it kind of lets people know um, it's truly a mechanism in which if you have an event people like it they'll they'll push it along mm -hmm. and that's what we want to do and help see how we can bump it out but yes so, and i met with um Jimmy Ross with the Jaggers for the June 20th Barn Bash. We're working on that for the oh, That's uh, the other thing was that's taken up my time, kind of pulling those little logistics together on that as well, too. When is that? About Friday, June the 28th. Okay. So. Okay. Um, I also wanted to let everybody know I did some research on that, on um, Brush Creek, and I wanted to know how much the county has spent in Brush Creek over the last two years. $1.1 million. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. Uh, in my in my checkbook, that would be a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, I because I was concerned because we keep hearing about we never do anything in Brush Creek Park. So I did the research, and that's what I came up with. Mm -hmm. uh, two things, the uh, Kevin. Uh, the two contracts, a special solicitor's contract for tax claim and the guardian ad litem, ad litem contract, have you done anything with these two? The guardian CYS, that's, this is Rob Yasko. Rob Yasko. Uh, uh, I'm continuing to look for a bankruptcy attorney. I've been speaking with uh, our law department, um, which it, they've expressed, they might just fall apart. Um, it's, it's hard to find that um, special person that, that has that um, and we have to 
great lawyers in house, so that might be the way to go. It's just uh, it's a lot of work. You, you've asked, you even asked Rob, our solicitor is retiring or, or not retiring, going into the new position right. in Washington County. You even asked him for recommendations. He wasn't really able to give you any, correct? Because there's really not many people in the county that practice. Correct. His partner, who is, I think, kind of more stepping um, away away from practicing, um, like I said, it's, it's a niche. Um, so it's it, it's it's being. I'm, I'm having a hard time finding someone that would want to do it for as much work and as little pay. <laughs> so um, when you say in house. Who are you referring to? Maybe two attractive individuals. <laughs> you don't uh, think they don't have their hands full? Right? <laughs> 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 you guys out. Oh, yeah. we, we need to find someone. We need to, find someone. Okay. We need to actively go after somebody for this position. Um, I, I was thinking about possibly putting an ad in the legal yeah. journal. Um, right now, he is in contract until the 11th. Um, so I'll. I'll Put it in today. Okay, and the reason I threw the other one in because they came from the same law firm. Yeah, no. uh, yeah. But uh, we have to contact oh, Leslie. And yeah, see why this is so. So those are going to be listed on resolutions next week as far as terminating the contracts that are currently in place. Uh, <coughs> Leslie is aware of it, and Kevin are aware of it to try to once they find someone to put in there, then we'll have resolutions okay. for the board to vote on. And the only other thing I had was farm preservation. Was we, Joe. Yes, sir. Sorry. Have you, have you what, what's going on with the farm preservation money that you were asking for? I haven't, haven't seen it yet. I mean, what? what, what I thought that was within the, the funding that we were waiting till. I keep asking that as well. We we're waiting till after our, the discussions are over with the contractor. That's what was part of that. The window with this farm, uh, is there a problem with it? We already passed that. Uh, we're getting that. That was already passed. We had that, that discussion April. here in public, yeah, in yeah, public work session April. April. To get her money together, but the twenty thousand we've asked for is so we can get the farm started. She can start working on the money for next year's match money. Okay. Well, where's Where's that? Where do we stand? I reached out to Corey. Um, he He stopped short of giving the the green light to to move ahead with it. Um, we We got to start getting things done. Yeah. We keep bringing stuff up over and over and over. We gotta start making things happen. So uh, we gotta make a decision. It doesn't have to be today, but we gotta make a decision on it soon. Sure. I think there's a whole host, uh, there's a list of projects that are <sighs> there always in is. waiting. There always is. I have add another 10 to that, <clears throat> right off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. That's all I have. I don't. All I have is uh, executive session for personnel and building safety is able to be in executive. Correct. Right? You said executive okay. session. Uh, that's all I have. So we'll move to other business. Hearing none, we'll move to audience. Oh, okay. Tim, yeah. yeah. As of seven minutes ago, Michael just said he's going to start the audit for June seventeenth. Here you go, Mr. Woolley. June seventeenth. I'll be in to uh, help on it. <laughs> we'll move to audience participation. I did have a quick question that concerns the dog decision. Did I miss whether there's been a decision on whether to get a new dog or not? Yeah, the sheriff's department is moving yeah. forward with the grant with the grant in order to get a dog correct. And that will be a county puppy? Correct. Okay. I don't, I disapprove of that, but it's the way it goes. I thought the decision was we didn't have a decision. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it ultimately was the, this grant was obtained through the Sheriff's Department. The Sheriff's Department is on the lease. Everything was done through the Sheriff's Department. There's no money coming out of the county general fund. Right. For this dog. It was just decision as to whose dog or increased dog or not so that's what was discussed here. is it purchased or leased it is leased I don't know how you lease a dog
Any other audience participation? Just you state your name. Okay. Um, my name is Lori Ann Burgess. Um, and Tina's my friend Tina. She's here as well for moral support. Um, we both ran for Ambridge Council in the past primary election. And um, the two of us, along with our mothers, observed some behavior that was uh, out of the ordinary for the, um, the, the, the judges of elections in different precincts. Um, so I went to the Election Bureau on May 28th, which was the Tuesday following, and I wanted to file a complaint of electioneering for them to look into it and maybe have an outcome. I, I didn't know what to expect, so I went in and they told me first off that I was too late, I had to report it within five days. Then. Um, I went outside and I thought, well, it, it's within five business days, so I went in for clarification. I said, is it five calendar days or five business days? And she didn't know. And then she said, well, I guess it's five business days. And I said, well, then I'm within the time limit. Then she says, wait, I can't do anything. You have to come back later. So I went and I sat in the hall and I waited. And she came back out and said, you, only have, you can only report electioneering on the day of the election. She said, the only thing you can do is write down on a piece of paper what happened, and that's your only recourse. And I said, well, is there a special piece of paper? What do I do with that paper? So I have the copy of the piece of paper that um, I wrote down. I said, uh, Irma Stratus of Precinct 1 in Ambridge was seen talking to candidate Bob Dunn in private multiple times throughout the polling times on May 21st, Election Day. They were witnessed by Paula Burgess, my mother, Karen Vancic, her mother, Tina Tessero, which is her, um, and Amber, oh, an Ambridge Council candidate. When I came to report this on May 28th, the Beaver County Bureau of Elections, I was told to write down a piece of paper, which is what I'm doing now. And I, had, I signed it, and my mother signed it since she was a witness. And um, I don't know if anything ever came of that, but I'm, today I'm just, I'm at, there were like four different counts of, four different accusations of problems with um, election judges and also the election bureau. And I just would like to ask for some election bureau reform, probably, like better training for election judges, clearly stated rules at polling places for voters to, to know what the rules even are for these judges, better constable presence at the polling places because we never saw a constable at all. Most of them, did you see a constable? Only well, Alex Hurl because he was running for office. It was the only constable I ever saw. Um, clearly posted phone numbers in case there is something going on and people want to report it. Clear steps to report an electioneering or a form that you can fill out and a, a clearly stated deadline for this. Uh, better training for the Election Bureau because multiple times I've been there with questions and they haven't had answers for quite simple questions that we've had. Uh, consequences for repeatedly violating the voting place rules, which I, I don't know if this was the first time, but it was just pretty much just thrown in a drawer. Um, more confidentiality and accountability at the Election Bureau because they've that was one of the other problems was that um, I don't want to even I don't want to talk about because I have no firsthand uh, information. But Ashley Troutman, who was running for Prothonotary, had issues with them with their 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 sharing information with certain news outlets that wasn't accurate. Um, and then also the winning candidates and the writing candidates still have not yet been informed as the status of whether or not they want anything. And I think two weeks is more than enough time to notify candidates of the results of the election. That's it. So I'm going to let our solicitors take this answer only because the Board of Commissioners does not sit as the active Board of Elections because we are all candidates yes. for this, this term. Uh, there are three judges who sit on that, but I know I can speak for at least the write-in that have not been certified yet, I don't believe. Really, there, there's a certification period before they'll actually notify the candidate that they want as a write-in or or if they want being on the ballot, but if you want to answer yeah, I mean, question. You, you have a lot of questions that are, that are that you have there, and I, I some of those I know 
right off the top of my head I can give to you someone who will have to look into. Um, I think, it, do you have those written down? Yes. What I'll probably do after the meeting is just get a copy of all those, get okay. your information, and sort of go over those with you and the questions that, that I don't have answers to right off the top of my head, I can get back to you. And I know some of those are requests that you're trying, that you would like to see implemented. Yes. Um, but certainly, certainly we can look at those. And, and as Commissioner Camp said, for this year, none of the three commissioners that you see sitting up here are the judges because they're all candidates at this point. There's another set of group who can uh, look into that and we will pass that on to them. But I think a lot of the things that you asked for pretty simple fixes such as posting numbers for voters if they see something or you know what whatever it may be I'm curious yeah, to there. know what the poll it, are you talking are you using poll workers and judges interchangeably the, the one poll is definitely workers is poll, what you're talking about also they should say that they're judges on them so because we I don't know if we all knew who were the judges and who were the are you mean like the people that these yeah, are all people literature. that are county people, not the people out in the, the, judges, like, the ones that like handing out paraphernalia. Okay. These the, are all people that are poll. The poll workers, like when you check in to yeah, vote, they people. were handing out candidate information? No. <laughs> One of the complaints was they were asking people to write them in. Poll workers? Yes. Poll or worker. people at the polls? The, the actual, the man <coughs> in question had 30 write-in votes. So, so you're in only his polling place. So he was a county employee for the day. Yes, I, I guess working that's a pool or when he was also working yeah. a pool for himself to write. Trying to get it right. I don't know which one was the judge and which ones were just like the subordinates, but yeah. It's, was this, a, was this more than one polling break. place, or was this just at one polling? Place? Okay, at the at precinct one, there was um, a private conversation that happened between one of the candidates and the actual judge of elections. In precinct two, um, there were multiple smoke breaks that were taken with a candidate by the, the judge of elections. At precinct three, that's when the write-in happened, and he got 30 votes because he was asking people inside the polling place to write him in. These are all Ambridge Borough. Board. Yes. Okay, I'll get with you after the meeting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I've never been able to talk that long without interrupting <laughs> me. <laughs> I got like really nervous. Uh, any other audience participation? All right, we will move into executive session. Any reason to reconvene? No, no. Move into executive session. Not reconvene. Thank you. Quite a bit.